Let's take a look at the structural formula for 2-bromobutane. So for 2-bromobutane, the first thing we see is that we have A-N-E at the end. When we see A-N-E, it means we have an alkane. Alkanes are going to be all carbon atoms single bonded. The but right here, but means we have four. So for butane, we have four carbon atoms and they're all single bonded. Let's put that up there. So we have our four carbon atoms single bonded. That's the butane. Let's number the carbon atoms, number the chain here. So on the second carbon, we're going to have a bromine atom. Let's just put that right there. And this is the formula for 2-bromobutane. If you wanted to look at a molecular model, that would look like this. So again, we have butane, four carbon chain, the whites are the hydrogens. And then on the second carbon right here, we have bromine. So this is the structural formula and the molecular model for 2-bromobutane. There's a little bit of a challenge though with 2-bromobutane, and that's that it's chiral. It has enantiomers, it's a stereoisomer. Let's just take a quick look at that. So we really can't put one on top of the other. They're actually very different. So you see the bromine is on the wrong side with this, and no matter how you rotate these, they're going to be different. They're going to be enantiomers, they're going to be chiral. So if you want to drill down and name this a little more specifically, you need to talk about R and S isomers of 2-bromobutane. But for our purposes, this is the structural formula for 2-bromobutane. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.